Today we are peeling back the layers of a YouTube series that is as mysterious as it is downright creepy, some may say, because I don't get scared of nothing. Now this new series, titled The Oldest View Beneath the Earth, was created by Backroom's YouTube legend, Kane Pixels. For those of you who don't know who Kane Pixels is or what the Backroom Backrooms is, here's a little rundown. Backrooms, creepy pasta well known on the internet, got a lot of traction. And it wasn't until Kane Pixels came along and brought that creepy pasta to life on YouTube. And when most people think about the backrooms, instead of thinking about the original creepy pasta internet type version, they think about Kane Pixels version. Did you have people coming to you being like, this isn't the creepy pasta back rooms that's that I know and love in my head that I read on Reddit and 4chan every day. I was surprised to see all these people uh, saying, you're doing the back rooms wrong. What is this? You know, that's why he's the legend. So <laughs> now I'm not saying this series is going to change your life in a miraculous way. No, but this might be the creepiest thing that you see today. I'm not saying something considering the things floating around on the internet nowadays. Two things stick out to me when you watch this video. First, we've got a grayscale dude here who might be dead, or maybe he's just really into monochrome fashion. Who knows? Now this raises questions for me about this character. Is he supposed to be dead? The grayscale is supposed to demonstrate that, or is it supposed to depict an emotion that the character is feeling. We don't really get any answers to this question. Second, a mask that we see later on in the video that looks like a fourth grade theater prop. It's very artsy and mysterious. <laughs> The summer days are gone When the roses faint and die And no more remembers the song It's a pivotal moment, I'm going to have to say Because, you know, did, our, did the main character, our monochrome dude, did he make it? Or is this someone completely different? We don't know but the meticulous attention to detail here. It reminds me of how certain movies portray serial killers engaging in their hobbies, such as building dollhouses, boats, things that really need you to sit down and pay attention. You better wake up and pay attention, honey. I mean, considering it, this is created by the same guy that visually put together the back rooms, could be a subtle nod to a darker underlying theme. Also, connecting to that point, did you guys notice the little splash of blood on the floor? You know, it's brief, but it's jarring because it's small details like this that hint at something a little more sinister. Now, this leads me to a more broad question about who are these people? What are their intentions? You know, this video, it really leads the viewer to an open interpretation with a lot of questions, not a lot of answers. And, you know, I thought the second video was going to lead to some more answers, 
than we got with this first video, but oh, was I completely wrong. It just unraveled a whole list of questions in my mind. And oh boy, where, where do we even start? Now the second video, it really throws you for a loop here because you think you're watching a very nice vlog because the video starts off with this guy, Wyatt. He's a host of his YouTube channel, right? And he expresses how excited he is about showing his viewers something very special that he discovered. He wants to show his viewers this undisclosed place that he's found that's on private property. So that's always a good recipe for disaster. But don't trespass unless, unless you found a really cool secret tunnel in the woods that you want to check out and show to your internet buddies. In that case, I think it's fair game. In all this journey that Wyatt takes us on, we learn that it takes him a pretty long time to get to this spot probably around an hour and 45 minutes. And when he arrives to this place and we get a good look at the entrance to this hole that he has found. This is the spot. Oh, I gotta get a little further. Okay, yes, this is it. So, here is the hole. It, but what I enjoyed about this specific video, and I don't know if Kane Pixels is going to do this in other videos in the series, but for this one, I enjoyed the use of a commentator. The use of a voice to point out certain details that he wants to focus on. He wants us to really question and make note of. I appreciate that. Because as Wyatt explores this endless amount of stairs going down into who knows where, we learn a few things, we start to question a few things. For instance, it just looks like someone's going up but got cut off and buried. Second, he points out the light still being on. All these, there are, these lights are on. So that tells me that there is still something active here. And you know, yeah. It's actually a good point. And third, as he goes further down the stairs, he starts to notice some detail on the walls kind of like panels. And he points out that there may be a door coming up at some point, which we later learn that, yes, there is a door. But not until we walk into some darkness, of course, right? So at the bottom of these stairs, Wyatt eventually makes it, and he reaches this point where the lights stop. And he questions if he should keep going. I know most of us would just turn around, but then at the same time, I wouldn't want to turn my back on that darkness. My mind goes crazy. Anyway, he chooses to go forward, and I start to question his willingness to live because what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? The right answer is to turn around and go back. He walks through the darkness. Music ramps up. I think he is stopped by a door, an old wooden door. Do you want to guess where that leads to? If you said Narnia, you were correct. No, it led to a chamber of some sorts. And the whole place, it looked old, rusty, moldy, 
but that doesn't stop him. He eventually walks a little further down in the chamber and he sees this gate. And on the other side of the gate is this dark room. And as he's walking around, you know, we're trying to piece this together. And we notice another gate. But this time it's like that, those drop down gates in a mall, right? The ones to lock up um, a store when they're closing. You know which ones I'm talking about. And so now it's all making sense. We're in a mall. Wyatt pans to this window and he's looking out into this mall that is now abandoned, hopefully. And that's where it ends. But like I said, we have now more questions than answers. So why is there an underground mall? Why was this mall abandoned in the first place? Was it always underground? And most importantly, did Wyatt make it out alive? I guess we'll have to find out. Those are the only videos I got to watch in this series by Kane Pixels. So if you're interested in learning more about this series and my thoughts, then you know, stay tuned. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.